Let's talk about Team USA. Yeah. How far do you think they're going to go? Well, if it was up to my son, Orion, they'd go as far as Cameron Johnson takes them. <laughs> For real. He's that's been his, hooping, too. That's his favorite player. He is was, he so excited? He is hype. What's up, bro? I just met your uncle. Uh, it's Cam Johnson here from the Nets. Just want to say hello to you, buddy. Uh, keep chasing your dreams, man. Work on your game. You got some, some good people around you. Hey, you Let it fly. Take one. Welcome to episode seven of Let It Fly. Before I introduce everyone and myself, I want to thank everybody for the support for our first six episodes. You guys have been insane. Thank you so much, and we love you right back. My name is Tin Gamboa, and with me are Gabe Norwood, Jared Dillinger, and Sol Mercado. Say hi, everybody. Hello, hello, hello. Hey, what's hey, up, what's up, what's up? What's up? you hey, want to yo. say thank hey, you yo. because the support yes. has been intense. Of course, thank, thank you, thank you, you thank guys. You. We appreciate all the love. Yeah, for sure, for sure. We really appreciate you guys. Much love. Yeah, man, we appreciate you guys. Hey, continue to get in the comments with us. Uh, we'll we'll uh, interact with you guys as much as possible. And uh, we want you guys to feel a part of this family. So um, continue to support us. Like, smash the subscribe button, and uh, get in the comments. We'll be talking to y'all. <laughs> Episode 7 is going to be all about the FIBA World Cup. We've been waiting for this for years, for months, and finally... D-Day is upon us. It is opening day today. How's everyone feeling? Ooh. <laughs> so we all do that at the same time? Ooh. <laughs> Just excited, man. Yeah. It's international play here in the country again. Mm -hmm. um, got some great talent coming in, even in terms of Japan and in Indonesia yes. as well. So I think everybody's ready for the tournament to start. Yeah. I yeah. Mean, facts? Oh, what? I'm huh? excited. I'm <laughs> hoping to, to catch some... Uh, some games live for free. Um, <coughs> if somebody would sponsor me, yeah. come on, SBP. Can you give us somebody a ticket? Hey, I'll, I'll put my number out here if y'all want to sponsor me. Okay. <laughs> right, right under your, your, number right under your G. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, them tickets ain't cheap. You want to be in the nose? They're not. No, they're not. Yeah, but they're it's going to be worth cheap. it, right? This is a once in a lifetime thing. Did you mm -hmm. guys ever think, I mean, you all played for the national team. Do you ever think that this day would come that we would host the FIBA World Cup, the biggest stage in basketball? No, yeah, of course they're going to do it when we're past our age. <laughs> yeah, no. Gosh, man, where, where did we play ours? Like in most chunks in China? Oh, yeah, the FIBA Asias. And, uh, uh, I don't know, FIBA man. I'm just saying, come on, guys. Regional ones, yeah. We're happy, though. <laughs> I say, I actually, no bitterness at all. I say that all the time, bro. Yes. Like we 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 miss out on a lot of stuff, yeah, because we're old as shit. But, yeah. but like yeah. now, like the opportunity. But I guess we're like the grandfathers of of laying sure the are. foundation of stuff. But like guys, over Tito and went straight yeah. to Lola. No, I mean that's what they, that's what they call it, grandfather. But like we miss out. There's so much more opportunity now for like players and you know the the Philippine mm -hmm. basketball whole as a whole is already opening up, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm, yeah. So, but we miss out on that. But honestly, like, shoot, we we all played in that all-star game, right? With, when, during the lockout. Oh yeah. Katie, all the NBA Kobe, yeah. That was dope. Yeah. Kobe, all them dudes that. came out, Derrick Rose off his MVP. So yeah. we did get that opportunity, so. You guys did bring up that you were able to play with, with all these NBA players. Mm -hmm. Why don't we talk about the rosters that we're yeah. about to see? Yeah. There are a ton of NBA players Coming to town, Luca's coming. My guy mm -hmm. Giannis, unfortunately, mm -hmm. is not coming. But there are so yeah. many of them. Why don't we go through the tops? Yeah. Who you think will make it to the next round? Let's go to that first. Man. Let's uh, go through there, the, the players okay. that they have in their rosters. Well, I mean, just looking at it, you know, naturally there's the the powerhouses, those consistent teams. But for me, I like I like I like the way Canada's constructed. Yeah. I, 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 they don't have Jamal Murray and another player that's that's not playing in the tournament, but to have Shea, to have R.J. Barrett, Dylan Brooks, Lou Dort, and then Kelly Olenek seems yeah. to play on another level internationally as well. So I like what they have in place. They've done pretty well in their kind of tune-up games mm -hmm. and things getting prepared for the tournament. So I, I like what Canada has going. Australia's looking good as well. Very true. Right? Yeah. So many NBA players that's on their was, roster. That's, that's one of the teams I want to really check out. Like, they have 
a load of NBA guys. Josh on that team. Giddy's a, a Josh monster. Giddy's Josh Giddy's only 21. Yeah. Yeah. And he's, he's nice. He's running the point for their team. He's yeah. really orchestrating he does everything. everything. Mm -hmm. So they got, I think they got eight. NBA players, eight yeah. NBA players, correct me if I'm wrong on that. Because what is that, Matisse Thibel's there. Uh-huh. I mean, they got Xavier Cook and Dante Exum, Patty Mills, like you were saying, yeah. Joe Ingles. He's like my favorite. Yeah. He's the coldest. He's the Joe, <laughs> the coldest yeah. white boy, though. He's so cool. <laughs> <laughs> my guy but but um no i think i think they're gonna be good just like they won i think the bronze in yeah. tokyo 2021 and they got a lot of good momentum they kept the team intact so i'm i'm seeing them going to the next round and they have coach brian right correct coach yeah. brian from bay area so yep. yeah they, they're yeah. solid I'll yeah, show yeah as well, he is smart head coach. oh yeah he is a yeah. head coach yeah. yeah bro he had some he was nice yeah he's yeah. a great coach he's a great coach it's all outside of canada and australia which is the team you're looking forward to seeing? Well, besides Philippines? Yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, obviously Philippines mm -hmm. and, and yeah. seeing what we can do on this stage. Um, I'm not I'm not sure about, um, obviously, USA is a good team, but Germany, I've watched uh, some of their, like, tune-up games, and they're, they gave Team USA a, a yeah. run for their money. Mm -hmm. um, they got Dennis Schroeder, yeah. the, the, the Wagner brothers. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They got Daniel Theis. Yeah. So, I mean, they got they got good. They got not superstar level guy. I think Franz Wagner is a superstar. Yeah. Though. Like he that dude is he can play, play for he was, Orlando, right? Yeah. yeah. He was giving he's Paulo Vancaro right, so. the business too. like he's good. Their teammates. So he was probably like, yo, I already know you don't play no defense, but <laughs> <laughs> he was going at him though you could tell it was like a orlando magic like practice session yeah but it's cool man like i think i think mo mo wagner steps up to another level on international stage True. daniel yeah. thice fits it perfect mm -hmm. and then they got a bunch of guys that just shoot the piss out the wall yeah like you cannot lead them open like threes left and right mm -hmm. they're just gunning so germany for me is a, a team to look out for i've watched sylvania and honestly they're they're I was like hyped about them before because of Luca. Yeah. But I don't know why, but like the Luca teams, he's so he's so ball dominant and yeah. everything relies on him. It's like there's a fall off. I don't know if it's winning basketball, to be honest. Kind of like James Harden when he was he was like that. There's always a fall off with his teams. I, with it's like they should be winning some of these games that they're playing. It, granted, it's just tune up games. Mm -hmm. I would like to see what they're doing. Because I'm a big Luca fan, but I mean, for me, they're they're kind of underwoman. We'll talk more about the tune-up games in a bit, but we we did go through the NBA players you guys are excited to see. Yeah. Who are you the saddest about that won't be making the trip? Giannis is my obvious answer, mm -hmm. right? I mean, yeah. We talked about Jamal. Nikola Jokic isn't coming either. Um, Al Horford yep. is not making the trip. Who are you saddest that's not going to be here? We'll go ahead and start us off, though. So. Uh, yeah, I mean, it would have been nice. I remember JD talking about um, Giannis big time to see him like kind of mm -hmm. because, you know, he didn't like dominate the way he was supposed to last time out. So it would have been nice to see him and see what he did. Um, Jokic, I mean, a two time MVP to see right. what he would have done on that stage is crazy. But honestly, like all these big time NBA stars that are sitting out, it like shows you how grueling a season is right mm. yeah it's it's to represent your country and you know how many times do you get to play in this world cup you know it's what every four years so it's like it for them to pass on that that means like they're really focused on you know their their mother teams in yeah. in yeah. the nba which is crazy because if you look at us we weren't getting breaks mm -hmm. yeah the, especially the guys playing on national teams like we're playing three conferences and that's all year round yeah. and we do not get those breaks and then playing for the national team that's a huge sacrifice mm -hmm. out here because we don't have an off season right so your off season is dedicated to gilas yeah. essentially yeah. so that like shows you that these guys get three months off from an ADA, they play 82 games we play all year round too but they play 82 games but they that off season is huge yeah, for them big, in which man. we yeah. never got so that i mean that's a that's a big point that that shows that these guys on Gilas, it's a huge sacrifice yes. like yeah right now they have it they have a essentially this is like the first off season i've been seen yeah for the pba that you know they got like a long time yeah. besides the pb on tour but like that's a huge sacrifice that these guys are doing because their break isn't long at all you right. know so um you know 
guys worried about injuries and stuff like that and overuse, you know, it's, it's, you know, it's, it's a, it's a big sacrifice, mm. but yeah, man, I, like I said, it, it would have been cool to see Jokic and, and Giannis. Yeah. Yeah. I think for me, uh, someone that Gabe touched on a couple episodes back is Wemby. Yeah. I really wanted to see how he was going to fare up on the international game. There's so much hype behind him. And there's this, there's this discussion that there are people already like him, like, you know, like Bobo and, and other guys that yeah. have, have this similar type game. So I just wanted to see him on the biggest stage to, to see if he can have that, that mental toughness to do what everyone expects him to do, yeah. carry his team type of vibe and, and just like either shut up the haters or just show everyone like, hey, I am that guy. Mm -hmm. Like, cause um, definitely, I, man, I wish he was in there. I if you were in him. his shoes, like knowing that you were gonna enter, you know, your first NBA season, and there's so much hype around you, would you have done the same thing? Or would you have used this as like a way to show the people, you know what? No, yeah. I'm number one for a reason. I think after they evaluated the way he played in the summer league, I think it's a good move to focus on just the NBA season. It's a, it depends. Like if he just destroyed that summer league where it just leaps and bounds and he had that confidence, like, man, I got this. Y like, but I think like, I, I think they did the right thing. Just focus on the league first, man. Get that mm -hmm. right. Help your team once you got everything carried after that. Respect that. Yeah. I, I'm the opposite. I mean, how, is, how old is he? 19? Yeah. 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 Bro, you go 19 play. years old. Go like, go poop. <laughs> like, you represent your country. Like, I mean, yeah, you got a mentality. Like, you 19 and you get another chance. You're still young next yeah. time around. But you don't know if your team even makes it. With the, the standpoint of, a, of, of their <laughs> organization, like the San Antonio organization organization looking at this like we don't want another chat i don't think green. i don't think it was I don't, I don't think it was san antonio bro you don't think so i think, I think it, it was, was his camp, camp. Yeah, it was it his camp decision. that was like nah like you're not gonna do it bro you're 19 years old like go represent your country in the world cup show what you could do on this world mm -hmm. stage dominate i mean not even dominate like go yeah, go go help go make winning plays out yeah. there for france and then come back and that will help you with your rhythm coming yeah. into the nba season facts that's where i facts. mean that's where, like, for us, we don't know who's not necessarily calling the shots. You like to think the player is automatically in control mm -hmm. of all of his decisions. Yeah, and, for sure. Whether it's advice from an agent or mm -hmm. from family or from the organization. Yeah. You know, I mean, I'm sure that's like a collective agreement yeah. that they came to from a basketball standpoint. I'm sure Wemby wants to go play. Who doesn't want to go play in the World Cup? You know what I mean? Like, I'm sure there's Ben Simmons. <laughs> Okay. What you Man, we ain't even talking about. <laughs> I'm just this saying, there's a lot of dudes that don't want to play for their country that won't don't want to play basketball. At 19 years old, you don't think a 19 year old would want to go? I mean, okay, maybe not. Maybe not everybody, but just from I got to watch Wemby in the summer league recently, and he looked oh, yeah, like yeah, you were there in person, yeah, who loved to be on the basketball court. Mm. And I I would like to think that's just his natural mentality, but. At the end of the day, you know, you got to make decisions. But do you think the Spurs go, organization would really say, hey, who knows? We, we really wish that you don't represent your country in a World <laughs> I don't Cup. Think, I don't But that's what I'm saying. We don't know who's making the That's true. Final, yeah. You know what I mean? How mm -hmm. camps work. Yeah, we can't assume. And, and we're definitely not in this era where we have a bunch of camps making decisions for it. Like, we came out here. We're making our own decisions. Yeah, I, didn't I wanted advise to touch anybody on that. else. Your journeys. Let's go. I, I know we talked about this mm -hmm a few episodes ago but like as a fan i have a lot of questions in my head yeah. like injuries wise like did you ever think like okay if i do this there's a big chance that you know there's a, not a big chance but there is a chance that i could get hurt and this could impact my career was that ever in your mind so were you just you know what i want to play for my country i don't think Whatever. it ever crossed my mind to be honest yeah. like it was just playing basketball. It was an opportunity that like, like Saul was saying, you know, you're not going to get this chance all the time. There's no guarantees. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, and it was something I always wanted. I, who doesn't want to play internationally, represent your family, your country. Yeah. So thanks. for me, I never thought about the injury aspect or the longevity. I think it was a blessing playing for coach Yang in our system where I, he played everybody in our yeah. minutes. It wasn't like I was playing the whole game, even in the PBA season. So I mean, I guess I had a little bit personally, I was able to go play Gilas every year and actually play more min more minutes for Gilas than I was in in PBA games um, throughout my, my time with the national team. So I guess 
that kind of made my decision easy to where it was just like, can just keep playing, yeah. keep it rolling. Mr. Perfect answer. Yeah, that was a great answer. <laughs> no, I think that's, I think that's <laughs> real. sincere, that's sincere but, from but the let heart. let me ask you, Gabe, if, if you were on a multi-million dollar contract, and and now money is an issue. Are like, you to saying where, rain or shine is a multi million? <laughs> no, I'm just saying like that these dudes that are sitting out, they're on multi yeah, million dollar true. contracts. I get like it. you know, what I'm saying I'm, so not, I'm not saying it's a bad thing. I get it, but I feel like now that's something else making the decision. Mm. That's the money yeah. making the decision. Yeah. But that's I think, like, you know what I mean? It's and that's okay. Like you worked hard to make that true. money. Like, yeah, but it's I don't, okay for that I don't even think we get that opportunity because I think it's again like. Our national team, it's like you get that opportunity, you go, you play. That's Absolutely. an opportunity for us, you know what I'm saying? But I think if you turn down, you look horrible. Yeah. 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 You look horrible, especially mm -hmm. I don't know if it's like a Filipino pride thing or what, but like I'm sure if, let's say, Paulo Bancaro, for instance, he got heat in Italy. He yeah. got heat, yeah. he but I could guarantee you. If he was born and raised in the Philippines or with Filipino bloodline and had an opportunity to play for Philippines and chose another country, he would get torched True. out here. Facts. He would get absolutely torched. And yeah, he did get a lot of heat, but I don't I think it's just a different level out here. When you're out here and you get that call, yeah. you answer. Mm. Like you like, yo, I'm I'm gonna play. Like, yeah. okay, well, I'm gonna get no this. No second opportunity. thoughts for you guys yeah. ever? Well, well, you gotta think too, like since our league out here in the Philippines, there is no uh, players association. It's mm. really a manager ran league. A lot of the players know that if you can get on that national team, that technically just means more money for the players. Mm, you, facts. Whether that's leverage, yeah, yeah leverage, resume building, brands, sponsorships. Yeah, so just getting on that squad helps you negotiate for contracts. So that's 100%. definitely a part of it too. Yeah. Yeah. Like even if you're kind of hurt and you don't know if you can make it through because you're just, like you said, you're just kind of just strung out of all the, the, the season that you're playing. No, you still want to play. Yeah. Like, of course, it's an honor and, and it's a privilege to be chosen to play. And that doesn't take away from any of that. But I'm just saying, like, we all know it as players. Like, mm. yeah. like you get on. Oh, I get more money. Yeah. Right. JD's a businessman. He is. <laughs> I do this for fun. It's a business. Dog. <laughs> 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 yeah. JD hey, man, got that business mindset. Years, Hell yeah. That's the reason I've been here for six years. I do this for <laughs> Filipino pride. You know, but I'm like, no, my you give me more money, I'll do it. <laughs> my two cents, just to double back on the actual question that brought, was brought up. Rubio and Horford are high on my list just to see two guys go out internationally that mm. have represented oh, yeah. their country for a long time. Yeah. It would have been cool to see them True. play in one last World Cup. Yeah. Um, assuming that, you know, I don't know if they'll be brought in if it's the Olympics going forward or future World Cups. It'd be cool to see them finish out. So I'll leave it with Who's those excited two. to see Cat play? That should be interesting. He's playing today. Yo, he's That's different. Yeah. He's different on the internet. Like, he... I saw him play... I forgot who they played. Um, I might have been uh, Japan. Was it Japan? Somebody. They played somebody. I watched it. He literally has a neon green light. <laughs> I'm not saying yeah, you don't have a green light, yeah. green light on uh, in the yeah, on the Timberwolves because yeah. you should. But he was literally <laughs> two feet from the. As soon as he catches it, dudes in his eyes, he letting it fly. Wait, Let it fly. Did he make? He any, letting it fly. Did he make any guarantees? Because you know the 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 thing about him is that he always makes these like statements mm. that he's going to do this and I'm going to win this or I'm going to be something. And it's gotten to the point where guys are like, man, just. I think he's smartened up a little bit. You think so? Yeah. A little bit. <laughs> he's smartened up a little bit. I wonder if we made what him. I don't like. What I don't like, though, my bad. But nah. what I don't like is that he's still playing on the outside, like even in an international. He's still play. shooting bad Jays. Mm. He's just shooting Damn. threes and stuff. <laughs> like nah, he was launching threes from like. Yeah, I saw some clips. You saw it? I saw some clips. <laughs> they were they were dropping though. No, they were they were they were dropping though. He was yeah. hitting. They were hitting. Hey, <laughs> yeah, I want to see him play. I want to see how he's going. How play do you think he'll us. do today against our guys? I'm excited to see the matchup. Who's yeah, gonna guard him? Too. Yeah. yeah. Who's gonna guard who's gonna him? That's gonna be interesting. He was it AJ AJ do? I mean it's AJ. Your yeah, that's yeah. my yeah. my guy AJ. Are you Jap? Is? Jap. Who Jap got a Jap for boy? Jap. Huh? Yeah. Those are tough matchups all together. No matter who you throw at him, you know he got that Bo Belga pump fake. 
That slow motion. That Jap had to be yeah. falling for. <laughs> Jap, Jap, please don't fall for that. <laughs> Our whole career, bro. Yeah. Our whole career. You're going to have a cat doing it if it's going into the dunk. <laughs> don't buy the pump fit because you either jump or you fall him every time. Every if you're time. watching, Jap, this one's yeah. for you. I've been with you for so long. I'm allowed to say this a little bit. Come on, Jap. <laughs> He's probably watching on his way to I the Philippine are, arena. Right. Traffic is probably horrible. So he could be watching this right now. Okay, I, I wanted to touch on this a little bit. So I'm a host, right? So when I want when I want to go for a gig, I go for auditions. Yeah. So for you guys, for Gilas, it would be like pool. you start off with a big pool, right? Yeah. So when they trim the pool down until they get to the 12. Are you guys nervous? What do you feel? Are you like, oh my god, I hope I get it? Yeah. What, what's the what's the thought process like throughout the whole trimming process? I mean, I think for me, like Jared and I were kind of similar in the sense in the sense that we we're pretty versatile mm -hmm. to where we're like we kind of mm -hmm. had a feeling like okay, we might not be at the th we could play like the one, two, three. Coach Chot, some like it's like to play small, so you know you had a chance to play in the four. So it came down to like sometimes health, so how healthy the pool was. Hmm? No, I'm saying so, that's flex. Right <laughs> we were never worried because we played I four positions. Should I say, should I ever yeah, say, yeah, little guy over here. Little guy here. Here we go. Did I ever say oh, that I'm worried? Size not short. <laughs> I never said we weren't worried. I, I said it one, helps dog, knowing yeah. that you had versatility. You had you had opportunities to fill different spots. Flexing, you flexing. Okay, how, okay. This you guy. let's go to you then. <laughs> this guy, Wait, go ahead. Let's see. You. I've never been part of no pool. I was just. You were it wasn't a pool when we went to nah, Jones Club? When, nah, I was, when I was with, when I was, yeah, I was in a part. I just got thrown onto the team to go to, nah, when I played with Raiko, Raiko, when I played with Raiko, Raiko, I didn't have to try out. I at just that got time, it was team. only, it was only three. <laughs> no, no, for real. I, I you didn't try out. You just got put on the team. No, I did, true. But <laughs> no but worries, no nervous. It was only three PBA players. I think it was like me, Kels, and, and someone else. So no, it was I like, think, and then Ron Adele and Ossie, right? Oh yeah, yeah. So maybe so four, four, yeah. yeah. Oh, Ronnie did. But but yeah, that team and then the Jones Cup team. It wasn't. It, I guess I, I feel, was a pool. I feel like there yeah, was that a pool. was a pool. I feel mm -hmm. like there was. That's a when pool, I was right? getting. Were you like uh, super confident Willis, the business, that you huh? were going to get in anyway? No, nah, I think I think at that point you just kind of like whatever. Of course, you want to be on the team, but mm -hmm. you're thinking team first at mm -hmm. that time. Yeah. At, at that point, you just want whatever's best. You're trusting yeah. that the heads are, are doing whatever best for that team, for the Gila's team, because mm -hmm. you, you know, you represent the country. So you want even when you don't make the team, you still supporting them. You know yeah. what I'm saying? You're part yeah. of the, the preparation, all that stuff, you know. So, um, yeah, I mean, you're not I wouldn't say nervous to not make the team, but it is it is. You want to. It's yeah. nerve wracking. I never like been. Yeah. yeah I never yeah. been a part of that to where I was part of the pool and didn't make it. But I could imagine like that would be like kind of disappointing yeah. you know what i'm saying hurt you know it would hurt yeah. me a little bit if yeah. i if i didn't i mean i had that i had that for the world cup yeah like i i got like people don't know this very much but i was supposed to be on the team for 2013 yeah. but then i got in that horrific car in accident, car accident. Mm. so Where you messed your hip up so i yeah. was literally in the hospital while they won wow. against korea yeah Ooh. and i never got to talk about that yeah i mean it didn't really i didn't have to but yeah, it hurts yeah and so again, so where I'm going to piece this what all happened? together. What happened? What happened? Okay, what I, I don't about? know about the, the car oh. <laughs> accident. Let's let's just talk about it. No, no, no. Was, okay, so it was during the playoffs. It was the last conference before World. Well, yeah, before the where World our training camp started. So, I I was already in the final twelve. Like we were we were all hooping. We played in the tournament before. I, I did well, and yeah. it was against uh, in the playoffs against Hanebra. Of course, it's always in Hanebra where I have all these altercations with <laughs> um we were i just had a bad game had a bad game and like threw up a goose egg like and so went out with my family and then things didn't go <laughs> the way i should i didn't make it home <laughs> got a car accident right was so you bad? went and got drunk well, it, was it was bad, bad. so you went no, and got it was yeah, bad because we, we yeah we I mean, together to see him in the hospital what did you guys? <laughs> I, I like, the I wasn't yeah, there. yeah. The national team guys went. Yeah, we all went. That's yeah. what it was. So Damn, the was scary crazy. part was that when I first got in the accident, they're telling me like you messed up your hip, you can never walk <gasps> again. Mm. Oh. So I had to be in the hospital right. bed for about three to four weeks, embracing Damn, the I can't walk anymore. Wow. So I had all the homies come through like I'm sorry, yeah. like all the coaches come in, chat, Coach Norman Black. 
all coming through like, sorry, man. Hey, we love you. Yeah. Um, so fast forward to the World Cup. Um, I make I make a recovery. Yeah. Doctors. Hey, you can walk our bad. You can walk now. So, sorry. <laughs> you said our bad. They hit you with a joke line. <laughs> joke line. Joke line. Joke line. <laughs> yeah, right? Hey, when I found out the second they told me I could walk, I was livid. You know how mad I get? My voice changes and I get all pissed off. Yeah, when you cuss me out the, yeah. the other time. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Uh -huh. Sorry. But my bad. <laughs> Yo, I jumped out of I jumped out of the hospital bed and I had my gown on and I had like the thing connected to me and I'm just walking down the hospital hallways like get me out of here, get me out of here, I don't want to be here anymore. Turning to Karen, just turned up. <laughs> the whole time I was just you guys made me believe I can't walk anymore. So how funny is that? How like, funny is that? like I'm gonna terrible. I'm standing up look, checking out myself like. <laughs> Oh, shit, I could walk. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Right? So I get put back on the national team. In the pool, yeah. For the pool. Oh. But then made it to the very end, uh, right before, right after a Dominican Repu Republic game. In Spain. Yeah, it was either me or Gary David. That was mm. like kind of the last yeah. one. So coach had to talk with him, talk with me. And How like, does that go? Oh, that's, see, that's what sucked. It hurt. It really hurt because it was like one more player in. Um, they had my whole family there, Yeah, you know, and then there's a thing that happened on our national team where with no tickets for, for, for if you me. weren't on, if you weren't on the final 12, if you weren't on the final 12. Oh. So there were games I couldn't even watch and my family couldn't watch crazy. and That's we're just cold. outside the arena and you know, I can't say anything. I'm, I'm here. It's cool. Yeah. Be grateful. But it was. It was yeah. a hard pill to swallow. Yeah. And I'm in my prime at the time, too. So I wasn't like a, you know, a wise OG yeah. that you embrace. Aslam the kind of guy. No, I was in yeah. my prime. So I was really like, dang, man, yeah. dang. I, ah, man. That would have been crazy if uh, it's tough. Um, they would have made you and Gary just play one on one real quick. <laughs> I watch no, American man. Idol. I'm a big American Idol fan. Huge. And sometimes, sometimes Huge. they bring in two. What? The nah, cuts, see. they bring in two. They bring in the last two, and they're like, we only have one spot left. You guys have to have a sing off. <laughs> They'd be like, yo, you guys got to play one on one. No, man. See, Gary's cool because, see, me and Gary were teammates on Morocco at the time. Oh, uh, okay. So we were like the one two punch on that team. Like, we were super cool. So, I mean, it made it easier in the moment because we're, we're literally cheering each other on. Like, hey, yeah. man, I hope you get it, bro. And he's telling me the same. I hope you get it, dog. Like, yeah. it was. And this is sincere. Yeah, yeah, super sincere. Like, we were so close. We're like, when I choked out Calvin and Bravo, he was the first one to try to, <laughs> try to punch Calvin. Slide that in there. Oh. If, you, if you watch the episode, he's the first one to run up. And Oh, uh, yeah. I just realized literally 15 years later, I watched, rewatched a video where you choked me out. Gary David. Gary came and elbowed me. I didn't even feel it though. Yeah. I didn't even feel his ass. But he came and elbowed me <laughs> on the back of my. No, did you see that? The chicken if I'd have known that, that I would have. Doug, I'm what? telling you, Hold me on. and Gary on the national team, we did everything together. Like, that dude's a freaking clown. Me, bro. him, and Ronnie Dell. We did One of the everything. Him and people. Ronnie Dell, bro. They yeah. did. Well, I was on the national team with them yeah. too. Yeah. They are comedy. Everything to this day, man. I love you guys. No yeah. language you guys, barrier. You guys are the best. Oh, they're no, there is a language barrier. That's what makes it funnier. That's what makes it better. So, in behalf of fans like me, thank you for all the sacrifices you gentlemen have made for Gilas. I hope you guys know that you. All the efforts, super appreciated. You will all be forever loved and remembered. So thank you sure. very much for that. Now let's go back to the episode. Nah. Okay, enough about you guys. <laughs> let's talk about Team USA. Yeah. Um, yeah. Mm. There were a lot of names that we were hoping to see that we're not going to be able to see. But this team is still looking pretty solid. How far do you think they're going to go? Well, if it was up to my son Orion, they'd go as far as Cameron Johnson takes them. <laughs> For real. He's that's been his, hooping too. That's his favorite player. He is was he so excited. He is hyped. <laughs> that cam is here in the country so that's like my only task for the next 10 oh, days is to try to, to see introduce them if i can get an intro somehow so cam if it comes go across shame. your path just go ahead and go to shoot shame. me a dm and we'll no this kid this, this kid right now, cameron right? johnson he thinks you're better than mj bro yeah. like <laughs> straight up <laughs> he's delusional <laughs> but he, you were like the greatest player to ever walk the earth <laughs> I hope Ole misses intro. <laughs> I really do hope so. He needs an intro. I do hope so. But I, I just, 
I like the way the team's constructed. I do too. Uh, just in terms of role players. It's a good balance. Outside of, you know, we've all watched before the tournament, basically Anthony Edwards kind of evolve into guy. this kind of superstar team leader type of guy. Yep. But you have guys like Mikel Bridges. You got Tyrese Halliburton that I... I'm excited. I like yeah. Halliburton a lot. Mm -hmm. So just... The, the pieces that they have and the coaching staff that they have is kind of ideal to, to put it all together. Yeah, I agree. I think having uh, Brunson and mm. Ant as their one-two punch, they got a lot of versatile wings that you just said, including, yeah. you know, Austin Reeves. Austin yes. Reeves. Dude, you can put him yeah. anywhere. And that dude can hoop. So I, I, I think they do got a great makeup. Yeah. I, I would not be surprised to see them in the Final Four. Yeah. Like, not at all. Think yeah. they can go all the way? I think they go all the way. Honestly, just from watching them, I think they're hungry. Like, yeah. they got a bunch of hungry guys mm -hmm. over there. Yeah. Um, I like, Gabe mentioned, um, I like Halliburton. Yeah. He runs that, yeah, second, nice. that second team. Um, I mean, he went off just last game when they yeah. were, like, hitting some threes. And Anthony Edwards is a problem. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, he's, he's stepped into, like, okay, y'all want me to just kind of take over this team? Like, right. be the mm -hmm. Kevin Durant, be the Dwayne Wade. Yeah. Of, you know what I'm saying? When we need a bucket, I'll get it. He's taking on to that role. Then they got Jaron Jackson that just defends yeah. the hell out the yeah. rim and Bobby runs, runs right the floor. I see they, they dumping it down to him sometimes when he has mismatches, little left hook. So I think they have, like like JD and Gabe said, like a great balance yeah. of, of hungry guys, not a bunch of just superstars put together. Yeah. It's, it's a lot of guys. Cam Johnson comes in, stretches the floor, runs the floor. O goes um, wild. And O goes wild. Yeah, O goes wild. For you real. know, I, I wouldn't be surprised too if we're like our fans like are really rooting for Team USA just because for one, they got Coach Spo over yes. there. Yeah. You know, we're all about any Filipino mm -hmm. you know, yeah. in the league. So we're gonna we're gonna have that. I wouldn't be surprised, right? Yeah. yeah. If we would see something That's like that. That's the second favorite, one hundred percent. Yeah. That's the second favorite. For sure. Absolutely. For sure. It's not a clear path for them. Not at right? all. It's not no, a clear no, no. path. Who do you think would be their biggest obstacle? I like I like Canada because they got a lot of Canada. pros. Yeah, Germany, yeah. Spain. I was about to say we haven't even touched on Spain or France. Yeah, yeah. yeah. or France and yeah. France. This France is showing they have Spain. This is yeah. a conversation. And Spain. One. Yeah, They're France. Like Rudy Fernandez is one of my favorite international players ever. He's still he's uh, old. He's still, and he's he's nice, old. He's bro. still he's balling. There. He's, he's, so he's there. Nice. They got Bo. <laughs> yep. Yeah, Bo. Right. That's the name, Bo. Herman Gomez. Yeah. The brothers. Bo. Oh, from Bo Hustle. from Hustle. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Bo. Yeah. Anthony Edwards is going to give him a bucket, though. <laughs> oh, I hope they have that interaction. That would be bro. sick. That would be kind of sick. They were guarding each other in a tune up. Yeah. That's tight. It is pretty cool. That's so, tight. would it be shocking if someone else other than Team USA won? Or would, nah, like, not at all. Not anymore. This is, the, this is the world now, right? Yeah. What about Dark Horse? Do we have a Dark Horse team? A Dark that Horse team. Into the Final Four? Into the Final Four? I mean, I feel like there's there's like a solid six to eight teams that wouldn't be a surprise. So the dark horse would have to be like even further back. Like if I think Dominican Chile, Republic, like a Bahamas, the DR, Dominican Republic, they got some dogs over there. They can play. I like Lester Quinones over there too. Yeah, Lester they got he's, some dogs he's, over there. They bucket. got some big dude that could that shooting threes just like Cat. Yeah, I always felt like Dominican Republic. They play just like Filipinos. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like when just, we played them, when yeah, we played them, that. freaking cheap. Yes, <laughs> got that. That's oh, another story dirty. too. I don't know if we shared that one. Hey, that tune-up so was interesting. Fights against that. Yeah, I don't squad. think the game ended, right? Like, no, you got it didn't. The fight in Spain. Yeah. And Gary David, the double hit with the with the triple elbow in the fist. <laughs> Bro, this was Duh. Gary David his elbows, boy. <laughs> it was wild. You got yeah, that's man. different. But shoot, even Gilas, man, if they can get out of their group, that's mm -hmm. it's, it's tough. What is it? Top two in each group? Yeah. Is it top yeah. two make top it out? Two, yep. Yeah. So what? Dr. Italy, Italy, Angola, Angola. Angola. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's tough, but man, tough. momentum, home court. Yeah, I think crazy got things it, could happen. Not impossible. Crazy, we got it, crazy things could happen. It, Maybe I'm not saying stretch it all the way to the final four, but to to get a taste of a win and know you can do it early in a tournament and, and ride that momentum. Just one, bro. One yeah, will, your best one. Two, one will do better than the last. I'll say Angola. Yeah. Angola. Get two Angola. Wins. Just get two. Angola wins. or even Dr. They gotta, yeah. gotta level up. I just said they're a dark horse, but yeah. No, but seriously. <laughs> Make I mean, up your mind, Saul. <laughs> no, no, they're, they're beatable. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're beatable. Sure. Please get to Italy's it. Italy's tough. Bro. Italy's going to be tough. Mm -hmm. Italy's going to be there. Please get. <laughs> JD's all praying on the side. We just got to level up. We just, I know. We can just get to it. It could wins. happen. It could happen. It happen. Have you guys been keeping tabs on the tune up games? Mostly, mostly Gilas, to be mm -hmm. honest. Yeah. Um, Thoughts on what you've seen so far? I mean, I know 
I don't think Jordan uh, Clarkson had played in the last one against Mexico, which they kept close. I think they only lost by seven points. Mm -hmm. But to know that he played against Montenegro, yeah. I know he showed out and played well. Granted, yeah. they lost the game. but uh, Didn't he just play one quarter, though? Something like that, a half. One quarter? Like I I, six points? I think he played like a half or so. Oh, I thought like there was that. one game that he only had like 13 points in the first quarter I saw. And then yeah. I think that was all he played. Can so. we talk about that game for a bit? So JC had 26 points. And then who had 13? So the, the next Scotty scorer was, was it Kai? But Kai, Scotty. How, how do we feel about that? Very ball dominant guy. I mean, that's what he's there for, though. Yeah, he's bucket. a score. He's, a, he's, he's, he's been proven to be a bucket, and he seems to get better every year mm -hmm. at specializing in what he does. That's why I feel like it's exciting to see how the construction of the team is, being yeah. able to have guys still maximize their talents around them, but also find ways to, to get Junmar involved, who's been killing in all the, yep. the tune-up games and everything like that. He's, he's still stamped his presence internationally, um, being highly efficient. So, uh, I mean, I'm excited to see how it all all plays out in terms of spreading the wealth, but also being smart and getting the guy the ball who who needs to, you know, be taking taking shots. I've seen that dude single handedly carry the Jazz to right. wins just by off his scoring. Yeah. Like honestly, you get to have one of those crazy ass games yeah. where he yeah. just snaps yep. and yeah. and stuns one of them teams. Like for real. I mean, JB, he was saying it right in our last episode. Like he's to top him, twenty. Top 20 scorer. Best scorers in the yeah. league. Yeah. I that's, believe it. That's, JB just wouldn't say that for nothing. Yeah. So how about this? Which group stage game are you most excited to see? I mean, I think the one with the most buzz when the schedule came out was USA Greece. Mm -hmm. uh, just when anticipating. Yeah. Giannis was Giannis play. And, mm -hmm. and the Team USA roster being filled of, of superstars. But for me, I'll go with, I mean, a game that we talked about already with Gilas and, and the DR tonight. Like, mm -hmm. I think the opening yeah. day game for us uh, here in the country sets the tone, you know, yeah. kind of whether, you know, win or lose, it's the way the, the game is played and, and kind of how our momentum carries throughout the rest of the tournament. So yeah. I, I think that's that's circled on, on my list. Uh, I guess for me, I want to see France, France and Canada, like two yeah. super packed teams, a lot of talent, who's going to win with their type of style. So I've been looking forward to just seeing Canada play because they have so much hype behind them. And yeah. you can tell that they're really going to try to go for the whole thing with this. So for them, like I'm going to be watching them the whole time. So I want to see how they do. Can you imagine like a SGA and Decolo? Right? Like that's a, that's, that's going to be a good matchup. Match. That's a good matchup. And right they're too. so different. Their yeah. style of play. It's so different. That's a good matchup right there. Their, their coach is the sure. Sacramento Kings assistant coach, too. Okay. That's so, okay. Yeah, he's our head coach. That's cool. But so um, for me, man, the, I've been saying it. Germany yeah, mm -hmm. um, and Australia. Like, yeah. I really feel like Germany has a good chance to be there yeah. um, at the end against Gilas. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> that would be dope, though. That would be that dope. Would be <laughs> that would be sick. But, yeah, I mean, if it, that, that I'm really excited to see what uh, – you know, Dante Exum, Garden, Schroeder, and, yeah. and what those guys can do with Giddy and, and playing against the, the Wagner brothers, I think that would be dope. Yeah. Dope. I'm going to put you guys on the spot. Easiest answer would be to say Gilas, of course, because we want to see them go Gilas. all the way. But fearless forecast. Uh, Minus, it's, it's, just, it's sure. the easy answer. It's, it's, let's go, you know, deeper. Sure, sure. Who do you think is going to win it all? Gilas. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't said Gila with this Gilas. Gila. <laughs> uh, okay, I got one. I got one. I think, okay, go. I think Australia. I think they got a chance. Mm. I think they got a chance Hell to go up nah. there, man. I think they do. <laughs> Their coach, like I said, like he's the Bay Area Dragons coach. Like <laughs> they could have been beating Deborah. That, <laughs> that dude. He has to. This dude is wild. Hey, they wild. took it. They took us game seven. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's true. Wild. They going to beat Team USA. <laughs> mind you. Mind you. Oh, it's my God. Canebra for in the country <laughs> first. Yeah, yeah. So they got Coach Ryan. They're going to win it all. From Saul. <laughs> hey, hey. Let's see. What team is your team? <laughs> no, you, can't your team. you can't say Coach Brian. Hey, that's the reason they're going to win it, dog. He's a smart he's, coach. He's a good coach. You gotta I'm just saying. They could be Canebra. They got Coach Tim. All right, then. Just saying. Shout out so just him. answer the question. Oh, <laughs> oh fearless forecast. Yes. Gilas. Gilas. I already said Gilas. See, 
Oh, besides Gila? Yes. Besides, all right. Gila. Good God, Solomon. <laughs> nah, Team USA. Come on now. Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah. yeah. She said, Ant Man. Fun. Come on, bro. Ant Man. That's fun and smart. <laughs> and you said, Coach Brian, like, you go with. Gabriel, you don't me. And you don't smart. listen to directions. <laughs> this guy. He said, let's have fun. Coach Brian. Pick. My fun and smart pick, I'm going to go experience. I'm going to go with Spain. A team like yeah. Spain. God, that's good somebody one. who's been there before. They, they figured out international play and, and got a lot of talent around them as well. So I'll go with a team like Spain. That's a game. So if anyone else answer. wins outside oh, of the guys they, they mentioned, what is feel free to laugh at these goons, okay? <laughs> so right after we tape this, I'm going to head on over to the Philippine Arena to support our Gilas boys. Ooh. Very, very excited yes, yes. to do that. You called yourselves like the grandfathers <laughs> of Gilas, but you're more like Kuyas, right? Like I said, traffic going to Philippine Arena is going to be really bad. Some of them mm -hmm. might be watching this on their right way there. Right. Yeah. Can you give a message to our Gilas boys right before the FIBA World Cup? Uh, yeah, man. Puso, like, uh, represent that Filipino pride. Good luck. Um, prayers for, you know, hedge of protection to stay injury free. Yes. Um, represent us well and uh, best of luck, man. Yeah. Facts. We're all behind you. Everyone, the whole country, everyone that's played on the national team from now to when we started, everyone's so proud of you guys. And we have so much, we have so much love and, 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 and joy when we think about our national team. So we're with you 100%. Good luck. And uh, can't wait. We can't, all can't wait for this to start. Yeah. And definitely just to, to kind of piggyback on what everybody said, just extremely, extremely proud of the 12 that are out there. And everybody that sacrificed the whole pool, um, yep. coaching staff, utilities, yes. ball boys, um, support staff. It, it takes a village to, to kind of build a, a family around this whole experience. So I look forward to supporting uh, from a distance, looking forward to some great competition and nothing but prayer and su prayers and support from the entire crew. So good luck. Again, to the Gilas 12, to the coaching staff, everybody with and behind the team, we are supporting you 1 million percent. We thank you for all the sacrifices and we wish you guys the best. To my fellow fans, let's go ahead and support our team. Go to the venues, make them feel your love on social media. Again, this is a huge sacrifice that they're making for the country and let's, let's let them feel our love, just like how you made us feel your love. Once again, thank you for all the support throughout the past several episodes. We have so much more to give. We cannot wait for you guys to see our next guest. That's it <laughs> for episode seven of the Let It Fly podcast. We'll see you guys again in the next one. Bye, everybody. Without them shadows. Shadows. <laughs> shadows. <laughs> shadows. <laughs>